and live over the San Fernando Valley. We see some cloudy skies to start off with. So if you're closer to the coast, uh, that's what we're going to be waking up to. And some cooler temperatures too. So it's another one of those mornings where you might want your sweaters back. I know we didn't really need them last week. 61 degrees there overlooking Burbank. And then away from the coast, as you're looking over Riverside, we just have some hazy skies to start off with. And some cool temperatures there too in the low 60s. So we're seeing some upper 50s to low 60s out there in most spots. Uh, it's a warm start out in the Palm Dill though at about 75 degrees, 60 out into Riverside. And we're seeing some upper 50s there for Pasadena, about 58 degrees, 59 in Woodland Hills. So a cool start. This afternoon, afternoon is still going to be very warm inland, but it is going to be much cooler compared to what we saw last week. And that's because this big ridge of high pressure has finally begun to break down. We have low pressure right off the west coast, and that's going to help us continue to cool as well, as well as the nice onshore flow too. But that's also going to increase our winds in some of those interior sections like the Amlo Valley. Highs today are still going to be if we see that next warming trend. So we are going to see those temperatures about by Friday. We start to see those temperatures warm back up. Saturday, Sunday, expected to be very warm. I get getting close to these. And then as we head into the weekend, those temperatures are going to bump back up again with some very warm conditions as we head into your Saturday. Into Friday and through the weekend, we see those triple digits return. We have another heat wave that's coming back. And so we may see some excessive heat warnings issued there for the Antelope Valley and some of those desert spots as we head into this coming weekend. But we do have a couple days of a break there. So that's nice to see. All right, I'll turn things over to Scott Reisner. Let's look at the traffic.